How do we sit well? A lot of us are doing a lot of sitting every day, a lot of the time. We sit at work in front of computers at our desks. We sit when we're eating. We sit when we're getting from point A to point B, if we're driving on a train, on a bus. Perhaps you're even sitting now watching this. So if we're spending that much time in a sitting position, it stands to reason we should want to improve it. The body takes the shape of the positions it's in the most. And who wants to be shaped like a chair? So take a look at the skeleton. Notice how the head, our head, our shoulder, girdle, spine, and ribs all wedge down into the pelvic structure. These high ridges here are our hip bones what we put our hands on when we stand with our hands on our hips. And those bones transform into what we call sits bones, which is the ischial tuberosities, the proper anatomical name. And that is actually a base upon which we can sit well. The thing is about the sit bones is that they're kind of curved on the bottom like rocking chairs slightly. So it's not exactly a super stable surface to sit on. But that's actually great because it gives us the possibility of exploring and changing how our base of support is relating to everything above it and how well it's supporting everything above it. So notice at the front of the, the two sit bones as they join, it's a bit narrower. And as you go back closer to the camera, it's wider apart. Just get a sense of that visually. And feel in your own chair how it is that you're sitting or not sitting on that base of support. Now watch me as I sit into this chair on my own pelvis. And notice how I sat onto the chair. I didn't sit all the way back into the chair and lean against the backrest. I sat at the edge. Okay, so the most important thing to do when we want to improve our sitting is become aware of how we're relating to the surface that we're on. So if we scoot all the way back in the chair, as most people do when they sit, the chair seat is pushing up into my thighs here and potentially tilting my pelvic structure backwards so that I'm no longer on top of those sit bones. I'm actually behind them, kind of sitting on my buttocks flesh and my trunk has leaned itself against the backrest. And that feels great because it requires no effort, really, to hold myself in this position. The chair is doing that for me. But then if I want to spend a lot of hours here, pro probably with my arms out in front of me typing, really what starts to happen is that the, the musculature around my head and neck and my shoulders and arms starts to work over time because none of my trunk structure, none of the skeletal structure within my trunk and the muscular apparatus within my trunk is turned on to do any of that work at all. So if I come away from the backrest toward the edge of the chair, put my feet flat on the floor, which you can't see here, but they're flat on the floor. My thighs are parallel to each other. I've got more or less right angles at my knees, but don't obsess about those things. Just come to the edge of the chair so, so that you can have your feet flat on the floor and feel that your pelvis is really the only thing meeting the chair supporting you. Now, we looked at the sit bones here, these surfaces, but they're not that easy to feel for most people if we've never checked in with them. So how are we going to address that? We're going to use our hands. The hands have a lot of nerve endings. Our brains are used to exploring unfamiliar terrain with our hands. So we're going to sit on our hand. Just lean over, slip your hand underneath your butt on one side, from the side, not from behind. It's a little trickier to get there. Just from the side, and then just sit down onto your relaxed hand, and you'll feel the bones of your pelvis pressing into in a certain place in your fingers, into your hand and into the chair beneath your hand. That's your sit bone on that side. So move around on top of your hand, really get a good impression, literally. And then take your hand out, put your hands in your lap, and feel. Maybe you can sense you have a better, a better ability to locate the bones of your pelvis. 
However, a lot of us can't sit this well automatically up on top of the pelvis. Our body doesn't know how to be in this shape. Maybe we're a little bit more like this. So the way we remedy that is that we remember the, the sits bones are like the bottoms of rocking chairs and we rock. Rock your body forward and back like a rocking chair or maybe more precisely like a metronome. Yeah, slowly. And just keep sensing into what you're feeling against the chair. Now, if you have a super soft chair, it won't be as easy to feel this. So ideally get a hard surface chair. If you don't have that, sit on top of a hardcover book on the chair. Okay, give yourself a chance to feel a good firm surface. Now, we're exploring the forward and back surface area of, of the sit bones, the base of the pelvic structure by tilting forward and back. You'll feel if you go too far forward or too far back, you won't feel them that well anymore. There's a place in the middle where you feel them, okay? Another way that we can learn to, to become more aware of them and to change the relationship of the upper body to the lower body, which probably needs some reorganizing, is to put our hands on our hips and to use our hands to cue our pelvis to tilt back and forth, okay? Put your hands on your hips with me. Go ahead and do it now with me. And slowly tilt the tops of your hips backwards and that will make you fall into a slump. Then changing with your hands, tilt the pelvis forward again and you'll feel your upper body unslump. It will, it will just automatically unfold and you will be sitting more on top of your sit bones. Do this slowly, several times. And notice how I'm not lifting my chest. There's no effort really in my upper body. It's just going for the ride because the base of my trunk is changing forward and back relative to the chair. So now, keep doing that movement. Feel how familiar you're getting with your base of support, your pelvic structure, your sits bones. And continue doing that movement whenever you feel you need an adjustment or you'd like to just check in with how well you're sitting. Start with that, see how it changes things.